Hello. It is Thankful Thursday. And how's everybody doing? I am well. I hope you are too. And if not, I am so sorry that you may be having a bad day. But we ask that you be lifted up and be encouraged and that something will come along to lift your spirit up. And know that there are people out here just thinking about you. They care about you. I want you to have a good day. Baby, before I start, let me say this is a reaction video. I am just doing commentary to what I have heard, and it's just my opinion, which is, you know, my opinion don't mean nothing. You might be entertained. You may not. It might be educational for you. It may not. It may not mean diddly squat to you. And that's okay. Now, let me say this. Baby, our friend is pulling out all the stops. What is this called? Me with depression. Um, You know, these stories have been told so many times that I am almost able to recite them. And I haven't been watching her. I think it just might... This might be a year now. So, that's a damn shame. She has done a whole video, not necessarily about depression, but about her life. Um, but she leaves out important things like the condo that she said she gave up. Uh, yeah, you walked away from it, but they were evicting you. So, I, I, I don't know if that's the same. Last time I checked, it is not. And we're still iffy on how many years you were actually supposedly in this house. Because you told us 12. And today you said a couple. So, I mean, between 2 and 12, that's a lot of different, you know, that's a lot of years. And the section, the housing that you got... What everybody else do is not your business. And my thinking is, you were an able-bodied woman. Nothing was stopping you. I didn't hear you say one thing about going to get a job. Did anybody else? You said, I didn't have any money, and I had to save the money that family, no family didn't give it to me, that friends, and that meant men, were giving to me so that I could pay. Then you got on a program where they paid so much every month and you tried to make sure you didn't go above that. But And you went to food pantries. But nowhere in there did I ever hear her say, I went looking for a job. There were jobs out there, but I wasn't able to get them. I wasn't skilled. I wasn't this. No, she sat on her ass and used depression. Now... There are different types of depression, but hers wasn't so debil debilitating that she could not leave her house or get out her bed because she was making videos up in that place on a regular, almost every day like she do now. So she is lying. Now she's taking a lot of those down because she don't want you to know. But yes, yeah, she was in there with the red wig, the blue wig, doing ASMR. Um, supposedly reading the Bible, reading pigs in the parlor, all this stuff that she was doing. So don't let her, don't let her gaslight y'all. Yeah, she was doing that, but she was too lazy to work to get herself out of the situation. As usual, she wanted somebody else to do it. And if you were that bad off with depression, why didn't you reach out to anybody saying that you needed help? It's always you, the victim, and so pitiful. Then you get in the van because you said that was going to help you. But you claim you don't have no money. So I, I'm still confused as to how you were able to fill up the van and go places in the beginning. Because you were eating well and all that. If you had no money and YouTube wasn't really bringing in no money. 
But by that time, <clears throat> now this is still while she's in the apartment. She had figured out how to beg real good. She's telling you right now, probably, that she got the Cash App. She got the Amazon wish list. She got the email. Yeah, begging is her job. And by begging and telling this same story, her subscribers fixed up this van that she's in now. I find it ironic that the father that she despises and hates so, she was so depressed when he passed, and he was the one that gave her the money for this van. She's such an interesting character when it comes to lying and manipulation. But I can only figure out right now that she only usually brings out them stories like that is when she really trying to get some big money. So she must be trying to get the subs to buy a van. Because that's when she used to go pull out the living in the abandoned building and all that stuff. There was really nothing in this video to help anybody with depression at all because we've watched you sit up in the van and not do anything or go anywhere i have yet to see you go to the gym and work out you go in the gym and take a shower but to work out you have no schedule you get up whenever it doesn't matter you're not really liking to get up early that's what you didn't like about living in charlene house because they get up with the chickens so you don't have no regular schedule that you're on you're not really doing anything, and that's why you're having issues now. Like that whole rant you did last night, that was real healthy. I mean, you go, you swing from one end of the pendulum to the next. I mean, last night you was ranting and raving and acting like a plum fool, and today you're just, Miss, I'm going to share with you how I deal with my depression. Girl, what is it you're trying to buy? Because we know it's something. And for those unsuspecting, innocent victims that you're going to get the money out of their pocket, I say I'm sorry to you now. Because the odds are, before the end of the year, probably before summer, you'll be mad because you've given her money and gifts and she's giving you her ass to kiss. But you can come on over to our side. We take all of them. And we patch you up and help you to understand that she is a con artist. That's it. That's that. Yeah. I said it. I said what I said. I meant what I said. And that's what it is. Bye.